You're listening to Country Music Junkies, hosted by Patrice Whiffin. This week on Country Music Junkies, I'm so pleased to be chatting with Krista of Nice Horse. How's it going? Hi, good. Thanks for having me. Well, we're really pumped to be chatting with you guys again. You guys have just had an incredible year. So many things happening. It's amazing, and uh, we're so happy for you. Let's kind of kick things off with CCMAs are right around the corner. You guys have been nominated for Interactive Group of the Year. That's got to feel pretty incredible. It's amazing. I think anybody's first CCMA nomination is like, you know, it's a huge milestone for us. Um, We totally didn't expect it, and it... Like we're just over the moon, so we're we're headed out to the CCMAs in September, and we could not be more excited. Now, for fans who are interested in connecting with you on social media, given that you obviously have a, a major interactive presence, where can they best go to connect with you guys? Um, all our links are at our website, which is nicehorsemusic.com, and so and everything is nice horse music. So at nice horse music on Instagram, at nice horse music on Twitter, and uh, facebook.com slash nice horse music. So let's talk a little bit about your new record, full length record, There Goes the Neighborhood. What are the stories that you're telling on that record? Um, there Goes the Neighborhood is really us on a record. So we had a hand in writing um, every one of those songs. Uh, and it, uh, when we started the band, we kind of just wrote what we wanted to write, which was a luxury for us as musicians, because we'd all been in projects before where, you know, you're, you always sort of have an audience in mind, you have radio in mind, and you're writing, and you're, but that's always at the back of your head. And, and with this band, um, when we started it, it, we had absolutely no expectations for it. It was just for fun, and so we we just wrote whatever we wanted, um, and uh, and then of course it ended up kind of working out for us. <laughs> so so these songs are very um, unfiltered, us, I guess you could say. Like we we didn't stop and think, oh, would radio play this? Are people gonna like this? We just we just wrote what we wanted, and that's what ended up on the record. That is so cool. So very authentic stories being told by you and the rest of the girls in yeah. Nice Horse. That's really cool. Let's talk about your new single, Mansplaining. I love the title of that. Yeah, so this is a perfect example. Um, if we had been been thinking about, I think, our audience on radio, we probably never would have dared to write Mansplaining. <laughs> Understandable. Um, but, but it is... But I'm so glad we did and that we put it on the record and that it ended up being a single because um, I think it's something that, well, certainly we deal with as we're the we're the only self-contained um, all-girl country band in Canada. Um, maybe maybe North America, maybe the world. I, we always just stop short because maybe there's one out there we haven't found yet. Right, <laughs> but, of course. But, um, and so certainly, you know, when we show up to gigs and when we're when we're doing what we do, we, most people are lovely, and, but every so often we encounter a little bit of mansplaining. Um, and I think all women and, and probably all people can relate to it, you know, somebody telling you something that you clearly already know how to do. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and this song is kind of, we like to call it like the Saturday Night Live of music. Like it's our way of sort of poking fun at, at a real situation that is maybe not so fun fun but um but in the nice horse way so we it's a little tongue-in-cheek and and yeah it's just a really fun song for us to <laughs> it was fun for us to record it's fun for us to play live and or we get a big kick out of it fans be sure to check out their new single mansplaining off their new full-length record there goes the neighborhood now krista talk to me about this tour coming up in november this sounds incredible yeah, we're so excited for this one. We've uh, we've got a few dates in November with the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band in BC. So cool! So, yeah, so we're we had a super busy summer, and it turns out we're going to have a super busy winter too. We have a few other things in the works that I can't talk about yet, but um, but that Nitty Gritty Dirt Band tour was just announced, and we can't wait. Like they're one of the they're one of the the biggest groups in country. You know, they're legends. So we're really excited about that. Absolutely. Well, we wish you best of luck with that tour. And, of course, going into the CCNA is best of luck with that nomination for Interactive Group of the Year. So cool and uh, so exciting. Best of luck with that. Fans, be sure to check out Nice Horse on all of their social media and also their website and check out their new record, There Goes the Neighborhood. Thanks so much.